Namaste. As the world is gearing towards scientific explorations and inventions, the other side of the coin shows us some of the cruel man-made disasters. One of the dangerous man-made disasters is fire accident. We personally believe that there are two basic reasons behind most of the fire accidents. One, human negligence and two, lack of surveillance. The fire must be put off as soon as possible before it gets too large and creates a devastation. The main driving force behind us was a famous proverb, prevention is better than cure. It made us to create an autonomous mobile fire extinguisher. The data provided by the fire statistics of CTIF suggests that 55% of the cost relating to any fire accidents is spent only on the service and maintenance part. Hence, we decided to combine the surveillance and extinguishing part into making and the, thus came the inception of our obstacle avoiding multipurpose fire extinguisher robot. Thank you. Now, let us take a sneak peek into the organs of our robot. Our robot runs basically with the help of a Tivar C-series microcontroller and the bot is powered by a 12 volt battery which mainly supplies the motor, pump and the sensors. Two flare sensors are placed symmetrically at the front to capture the fire signals. Three ultrasonic sensors, one at the front, one at the left and one at the right are placed to detect the obstacles. The L293 is integrated in a small circuit to drive the motors in a desired direction. A 12 volt submersible pump helps in delivering the water to extinguish the fire and a small servo motor is placed in the front to ensure that the water spreads to maximum distance. The four motors are connected with four wheels to ensure the proper locomotion. The sensors obtain 5 volt signal needed to power them from the voltage regulator placed near the motor driver. To make it multipurpose, a LPG gas sensor is placed with signals when there is a concentration of LPG, butane or propane gases. A buzzer is also placed which will help in signaling the surrounding for help. Now we can see the working of LPG sensor followed by the obstacle avoidance and fire extinguishing part. We have created a control environment to demonstrate our prototype. Let us see how the robot avoids obstacles and how it extinguishes fire. In this case, our robot overcomes a known obstacle and a sudden obstacle in, a, in our simple path. The three ultrasonic sensor placed inside the bot will help in choosing the right path. Now, we can see the demonstration of our obstacle. Now let us see what happens when the robot can't extinguish fire on its own. For this to happen, we cut off extinguisher. Once the robot senses fire for too long, it sends uh, signals from one microcontroller to another using a transmitter. Uh, once the microcontroller receives a signal, uh, it alerts the surrounding and uh, sends a signal to nearby fire station. We have planned to use a camera module for better fire detection and surveillance purpose using image processing technique. This, this type of robot can be implemented in small scale industries, domestic purpose and go downs where permanent usage of sprinklers may not be possible. If implemented, our project can ameliorate the current rate of 
fire accidents happening. First and foremost, we would like to thank Texas Instruments for providing us an opportunity to showcase our talent. We thank our management for providing us much needed support. We are very much grateful to our mentors Mr. Rajasekhar and Mr. Javed Ahmed for their guidance. Last but not the least, we would like to thank our student friends who lended their hand when there was a need.